Hey Los Angeles, I'm Robert Henry. Welcome to Tinsel Talk. Today we go to Burbank where Hollywood celebrates diversity. From John Cho to Cal Penn, you're looking at the winners of the 2010 Ivy Bethune Diversity Awards. It's an award that honors entertainment figures who promote diversity in Hollywood. Harold and Kumar star Cal Penn says it's one of the highest honors he could receive. It's an incredible honor, and, and it's, you know, I was talking to my parents about this. It's, you know, it takes so long to get into one of these labor unions, not to mention all three, uh, that to, to be recognized, I think, uh, particularly for, for, you know, playing a, a wide array of characters is, is an honor. But I, as I'm going to mention tonight, I think it really goes to the writers and producers that, you know, cast colorblind roles uh, and kind of focus on storytelling as opposed to anything else. Sponsored by the Screen Actors Guild, the American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, and Actors Equity Unions, this is the eighth year of the award. It started as a way to promote people of different races, genders, and abilities in the entertainment industry. I love you! Award founder Ivy Bethune says it is changing Tinseltown. Could you tell us th about the impact that these awards have had on the entertainment industry? Oh, I think a great deal because right now, CBS, NBC, ABC are having special auditions for all kinds of people, not yet for animals, but we'll get to that. Dozens of actors and producers attended the ceremony and show at Burbank's Colony Theater. Producer Yvette Lee Bowser, also an award recipient, says the future of diversity is bright. I always like to be optimistic. I think the future is bright. I think it is, because there are those of us who aren't tired yet. We're not tired. I won't rest till it's done. Bethune may be in her 90s, but she's still going strong. Next, she plans to fight to expand multiculturalism on film. For Tinsel Talk, I'm Robert Henry.